Happy New Year. I'm Reverend Stacy Lee with Wesley Memorial United Methodist Church and Gold Hill United Methodist Church. And this is your Wednesday devotional for January 6, 2021. Armor of God and the Fight. Ephesians 6, 14 through 18. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and his shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. If you're human and you're Christian, then you've already at some point experienced what is called spiritual warfare. You may have even gone through it just after you confessed Jesus is Lord and Savior. It is something we all have come up against at times, and it's even something that a lot of us try to hide from and not discuss. It's important to talk about this and how to fight it and recognize it. Most of us have heard of spiritual warfare. We've even been told to read Ephesians 6 about how to walk through it and how to fight it. And you might even scratch your head and wonder, what exactly is Paul meaning here? Some have also been told it's a passage that can only be understood if you understood Roman military outfits. Well, I'm going to break it down so that anyone can get this. First, the belt of truth. Jesus is the truth, as he states in John 14, 6. Jesus, that's the truth. Next, the breastplate of righteousness comes from Christ as found in Romans 3, 21-31. In Christ Jesus we have been made righteous. Shoes for your feet with readiness given by the gospel of peace. Jesus is the peace as found in John 16, 33. Jesus has overcome the world for us so that we may have peace. The shield of faith, Mark 11, 22-24. Placing our faith in God and no other. The helmet of salvation comes from taking thoughts captive and replacing all thoughts on Jesus and what he has said, because we know what he said is true. John 3, 16 through 18. Faith in Christ as Lord is where we receive the salvation of God, not from anything or anyone else. We can't earn it, buy it, or merit it. If he says it, then it's true. The word of the Spirit, which is the only offensive weapon mentioned, comes from knowing the word of God. John 1 is the best place to look for this. As the word became flesh, the flesh, Jesus, was in the beginning with the Father and the Spirit. The triune God is who we look to for this. The Spirit dwells in us just as we have been told by Jesus. So, when you're faced with spiritual warfare and you find you can't remember how to fight it, which a lot of us will do because we're human, just remember Jesus. All weapons we fight with in spiritual warfare come from Jesus. Jesus fights it for us. Call on his name, turn to him in prayer. Know and remember what Jesus has said is true because it comes down to knowing Jesus and letting him fight our battles. Jesus really has the authority over all things, and therefore he fights for winning. May the peace of Christ be with you, and may Jesus cover you with his protection. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.